Hello, and welcome, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to give you a short overview on why your content might be trapped and how you can save it. So let's get started. Uh, when you first get to know WordPress, the first thing you usually get to know is the editor. For everybody who has ever used a desktop editing tool like Ms. Word before, this should be a pretty familiar interface. You get immediate visual feedback of what is happening, and it also looks mostly the way it will look on the front end. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is also one of the reasons why it's probably so, so easy to get started with WordPress. But um, with everything easy and self-explanatory, there are, of course, also some downsides. So if you put all your content in the editor, everything ends up in one huge amorphous blob, and then it is kind of trapped in the post-content field. But why is that an issue? Let's have a look at an example. So imagine you have this very simple portfolio website where each project has its own page, and it's very basic, you just have a title, the description, and the name of the project manager for that project below. So how do we do that in WordPress? Well, I mean, um, you just create a new page, type the description in, in the editor, put the name of the project manager below, and you're pretty much done. And that works. But now imagine that this site already exists for quite some time, and you've already created a lot of those project pages. And now, one of your project managers marries, and therefore her second name changes, and you want to have that on the website and update all the projects so it has the new name. How do, we do, how do we do it? Well, I mean, you just open the page, it's just some text, you change, change the name, press save, and you're done. Oh, wait. And then you realize you've got to do that for all the other pages as well which is a pretty tedious manual process of going through all the pages and changing the name. And, um, and in that process, you also realize that when you type a, one, a name so many times, obviously, typos happen. And all of this gets you thinking, this can't really be the most effective way to go about all of this. So let's give it some more thought. So actually, each person can only exist once. So um, when one of those project pages is mentioning Jane, um, the page is always talking about the same person, right? So what if instead of writing her name independently and repeatedly all over the website, we only created the person once and then only referenced it from all those project pages? Uh, if we did that, we, we, could only, we would only need to change the, the personal details once and it gets automatically updated everywhere. So how can we do that with WordPress? Uh, for a very simple example, I'm, going, I'm just going to reuse uh, WordPress users and create a very, very basic shortcode that does nothing else than when you give it the, the ID of a user, it outputs the name of the WordPress user it refers to. And if we now replace the names with those shortcodes, uh, we're going from duplicate content spread all over our website to a reference-based approach. And now we only we change the name once, and it gets updated everywhere. And this saves us a lot of time, and uh, therefore improves the maintainability of our website enormously. But we can still do better. So up until now, we've only put the name of the project manager at the bottom of the page by convention, or now the shortcode at the bottom of the page. And uh, what if somebody isn't aware of that convention? and, uh, for example, puts the name on top of the description. Also, what if we want to move the name, maybe put it on top, like globally for all the project pages after the fact? Again, a tedious manual process of going through all the pages and moving the shortcode. So, what if instead of, um, instead of using a shortcode, we added the, the reference to the project manager, or the WordPress user in that case, um, as a custom field, or post meta, to the project page. By doing so, we can hand over the, the job of outputting the name at the right spot to our template. And uh, now we have separated the content, what is the project manager's name, from the presentation. Where is the project manager's name shown on the page? And once the position is defined in the in the template, we can also easily move uh, the name for all the pages just by changing our template. 
and it automatically updates on all the project pages without any manual work. So, okay, there was a lot of information. Let's, let's do a short recap so, of what we have done. So, first of all, um, when we use references instead of duplicate content, we only need to do changes once and they get updated everywhere uh, we have referenced that content. Second, when we separate content and presentation, um, where the raw content goes in the database and the presentation is defined in theme, we can now independently change content and its display without affecting each other. And finally, we're now also enforcing content structure and presentation, which, among other things, helps us keep a consistent and a clean uh, website. And the great thing about all of this is that it works, no matter if we're talking about 10 or 10,000 pages. Although, of course, the bigger the site, the more time it saves us. But what is really important about all of this is that it's only easier if done from the very beginning. Once you've mashed all your content together inside the post content, there's really no easy way out again. So think about that from the very beginning before you start building your website. And uh, very simply put, that is what you can call content architecture, thinking about the structure of your content before creating it. Okay, so thanks a lot for listening. Um, I know that my example was very simplified. In reality, you'd probably use custom post types and custom taxonomy and uh, create a nice UI for all of this. But uh, I think I'm already short on time, so I hope you still got my point. And uh, yeah, if you have any further questions, I'm gonna be at the happiness bar right afterwards. And uh, feel free to talk to me anytime for the rest of the WordCamp. And yeah, thanks again for showing up and uh, enjoy the rest of WordCamp. <laughs>